What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Hope you guys are having an awesome Easter Sunday. Um, if you guys are a Christian, this is one of the best days. Should be one of the best days that we celebrate each and every year uh, because our Savior Jesus Christ has risen, and that's a big deal. Um, that He is not dead still; He is still alive, and that's so awesome. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Hey, today I'm going to do a shout out uh, Sunday, um, and you guys are going to like this channel. Um, they kind of did a video on me, kind of poking fun at me a little bit. I went over there and checked them out. I really like what they got going on. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about them here in just a little bit. But first, I have to do a Jesse update. You guys are hitting me up like crazy. House Jesse, house Jesse. And I'm going to see if I can ride Jesse today. So I'm going to show you guys. See, he's an old, he's an old rope and steer. Let's see if we can get on him and give him a ride. You want to? All right, let's check him out. Jesse, you ready to, you ready to eat? Hush, you ain't getting nothing. I'm getting low on feed, so I'm gonna have to make a run to the feed store next weekend. Ah. Come on, Jess, get over there. Careful, buddy. He knows the routine. Yeah, right. I ain't riding Jesse. You guys are crazy. April Fools. But I'm going to leave Jesse alone. Let him eat a little bit. See, Jesse ain't scared. Me and Jesse are buddies. I can give him hugs. Look at that. You guys will know what I'm talking about whenever I say I'm giving Jesse hugs. And here in a minute, whenever I give a shout out. How you doing, Jesse? Me and Jesse are buddies. All right, guys. I'm not going to ride Jesse. That's an April Fools joke. Uh, but look, uh, this is the setup I got on. Je I got Jesse going on now. I just put a cattle panel up right here, got tied up over there on that post, and I just separated him from from these two ladies, these two stubborn ladies, uh, because I was hanging on the fence. But then these sheep figured out how to knock it off and get to feed. So now we just kind of pin him up right there, let him eat, and I let him through. Uh, so I'm gonna go feed the pigs. Um, I need to take this bucket out there. I got to figure out a way um, to fill their main feeder and it might just be bucketfuls because those barrels i don't have a tractor or anything those barrels are like 350 350 pounds each one once they're full so only way i'll be able to uh, handle them is by the bucket load and just dump it into the feeder so we'll have to do that today i'm going to give them a bucket um one bucket five gallon buckets lasted about two days um so we'll go up there and i'll show you guys feeding them One bucket at a time. All right, took care of the pigs for right now. You can tell they're still skittish, but each day, it's be, it's better to feed them each day if you're wanting to get them less skittish. Um, if you just fill that feeder up, which I'm gonna do, and just don't mess with them, they're gonna be skittish their whole lives. But if you go out there and spend some time with them, they'll start to loosen up with uh, for you. And uh, they, they've come a long ways. They'll actually come over most of the time and, and let me stand right there um, while, while they're, they're eating. But Right now it's cold. It's cold and windy today. A little bit of, got an overcast with a little drizzle. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got cooking. And I'm gonna give you that shout out I, I told you guys about. Oh look here, we got the the hens out and about. The little scavengers. Anything I drop, they come get. Look at that. Jesse, let me give you let me give you one more scoop, Jesse. Tell you what, them sheep are like a pack of wild wolves on some meat. It's crazy. 
Look at her sticking her head through there. Okay, as you can tell, Jesse's doing awesome, by the way. Um, if you guys can tell by just how he's eating good. He, he eats, he walks around. We got a sheep shelter. Oh, let's see if you can see it. Right back over there, it's a little sheep house. Jesse gets in there with the sheep and they hang out all day long. So look guys, Jesse's got some sheep friends with them. Uh, like all you guys said, they're, they're uh, herd animals and they like to be around other herd animals. Well, the sheep have taken a liking to Jesse. Jesse's taken a liking to them, uh, probably by no other means other than they're just there together all the time. So um, Jesse's doing great. Um, he, he's not acting sick by any means. He's, he stays in the shelter. I mean, it's, he's doing really, really good. So there's my Jesse update for you guys. Um, hope you guys like it. Um, now I'm going to show you guys what I got smoking on the old barrel house smoker. I'll do a quick, I'll just do a quick look for you guys. Oh yeah. Got us a nine pound turkey smoking. We're having Easter uh, dinner here in a couple hours. So I want to get this vlog um, out before then. We had a crazy, crazy windstorm going on last night. The same, you know how I just got the hot, the main high tunnel, just got it done yesterday, put plastic around it. We had a high windstorm last night. Let's go see if it survived. I'm telling you, uh, it was windy. It was at least 30 mile an hour winds. And you can probably hear it on the mic right now. I'm gonna show you what I did to it and uh, show you if it survived or not. What's up guys? You can see I put a couple straps over it to keep uh, keep this from flopping up over on its side and it's tearing up. Uh, so far, so good. Um, it held up good. But here's a concern I had. It rained last night too. So let's look and see how much water is on top of this uh on top of this high tunnel or mini tunnel whatever you want to call it you can see there's just a little bit right there and it ran quite a bit and it doesn't it's it didn't it didn't hold it up here um like i thought it was that's good that's a good thing i still got i gotta do this door it's gonna do it today i might still do it today i don't know um we'll see how it goes but yeah so far so good i put the two by fours up there like i told you i was going to and i just strapped this thing down all is good okay so guys uh, that's all i got for today's vlog just a quick update on the animals and what you guys probably came to see other than me riding jesse like a bull not gonna happen <laughs> i probably outweigh jesse but i don't know um it's time for the shout out it's time for the sunday shout out i told you guys i was going to be doing now this is only going to work guys if you guys go watch them and subscribe to them if you guys like what they got if you like what they got going on subscribe to them um, it's kind of pointless to do shout outs if no one will go subscribe, but you guys are doing a great job um, I know we did a shout out a couple like last week and he picked up well over 200 subs and that's that's amazing That's awesome And I really do appreciate that guys and I know they appreciate it and you guys are gonna appreciate it too Because if you get a shout out and you and you want to build your channel You're gonna appreciate everyone going over there and subscribing. So now here's the channel. That I want you guys to go watch Okay, guys got here a little bit better light now this channel is pretty funny. You guys go check them out. If you like what they're doing, subscribe to them. Tell them I sent you. Tell them Dutch sent you on his Sunday shout out. It's North Country Off Grid. And Chad put a video out about me poking at Jesse last week. And he said, uh, Dutch needs help. Dutch needs help learning to give his animals hugs or whatnot. I'm telling you, you guys go check out Chad. I'll put his video up there. I'm telling you, it's borderline assault of what he did to these animals. I'm telling you, he was sneaking up on them like a freaking ninja, bear hugging them, putting them in headlocks. I mean, he was doing all kinds of crazy stuff uh, to his animals to show me how to hug animals correctly. I'm telling you guys, um, whenever I seen him assaulting his animals, no, he didn't really assault them. You guys gotta go check it out and see what I'm talking about. But I was like, man, that's funny. Um, real, real good couple over there. Um, North Country Off Grid, like I said. So go subscribe to them. Check them out. Um, if you guys like what they're doing, subscribe to them. Tell them I sent you, like I said. And uh, I'll keep doing these shout outs if, if you guys are going to keep supporting these channels. Uh, so they, he got my attention with that video. So I gave him a shout out. I have a few more in mind. I've been getting a lot of emails and messages. I'm checking you guys out. Um, even if I don't reply right away, I am getting to you guys. So um, just keep up the good work, guys. If you guys are wanting to build your channel and you're wanting to get on my Sunday showcase, uh, just keep doing what you're doing. I'll, I'll get around to getting you guys, and uh, hopefully you guys don't get upset if I uh, if I don't get you this time, but I'll eventually hopefully get to a lot of you guys. So I'm going to put a clip of, uh, of Chad 
pretty much assaulting his animals. So I'm gonna put it right now. No. He knows. He's been roped so many times. Hey, friend. Oh. Poor Spug. Guys, some of these animals, they don't know that they love you yet. So you just have to go up, grab them, force them to hug you. All right, guys, you've seen it. It's pretty funny sneaking up on his animals and stuff. Um, they got goats, chickens, uh, pigs. I mean, they got they got a little bit of everything, uh, kind of like what I got going on here. Um, they're off grid. I'm not off grid, but if that's something you guys are interested in, I know they'd really appreciate you guys stopping by. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed today's vlog. Um, just a quick vlog of the animals and whatnot. It's cold and windy and raining out here right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get off your hay. If you, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button for me if you would. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I just ask you please subscribe and click that little bell for notifications because YouTube every now and then will send a notification out. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great Easter. And don't forget what Easter is all about. It's about Christ rising from the dead, and he's alive. So don't forget that, guys. Thanks for watching.